Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a fuel efficiency test. We're going to be putting the Honda E7000 against the Power Horse 7500. These two are very close in power. We all know the Honda is underrated. So we're going to put it against the uh, 7500. So you have 7000 over here, 7500 over here. I'm going to put the exact same amount of fuel in there. Not too much gas because I don't want this test to run too long because the Honda and the power horse they sip on gas i drained them completely out of gas so i used my little uh, vacuum pump pumped all the gas out of them and so they have no gas they won't even start i'm going to put a thousand watts so each one of these are 500 we're going to put two on the honda two on the power horse and just let them run whichever ones run out of gas first i guess the other ones more fuel efficient now, the Honda is fuel injected. The Power Horse is carbureted. Is the Honda going to be more fuel efficient than a carbureted, almost identical engine generator? Let's find out in this test. Okay, guys, let's get the test started. Let me show you the tanks. Okay, just pull the filter out. If you can see in here. Completely dry. Let's go to the port power horse. You can see inside the tank. Completely dry. Guys, the way I drain my tank, I use a evacuator. Alright, it's this one right here. And I just use the hose, put it down in the tank. I find it, I find the deepest corner all the way down. Then I come right here. This thing right here will pump and evacuate. So this is pump. Well, this is pump. That's evacuate. Then you have a little handle right here. You just pump it. And it will pump the gas right out of the tank. I do this after every test. So when you guys see me test the generator, I'll come. I'll evacuate the tank. I'll run it out of gas. Every single time I store my generator, I do this. If you want to see a video of me doing this and showing you how to use this to evacuate your tank to get it ready for storage, just put it in the comment. I'll make the video for you guys. If that's something you want to see, I'll make a video of it. Just let me know. Okay, guys, so we're going to put two 16 ounces. I just measured another 16 ounces. We're all set up. I got the Honda over here, the Power Horse 7500 right here. So we have a thousand watts. One's going to have two, the other one's going to have two. Each one is 500 watts. Over here, we have it plugged into a thousand watts. Over there, we have it plugged into a thousand watts. I can't use the kilowatt meter on the Honda because the plugs are upside down and it just can't fit. All right, it can't fit because see they're upside down. It hits right here, so I'm gonna plug it direct. They each push pulling right at a thousand watts. The lights should come on; they're already on, and we're just gonna let it run to see which one dies first. Let's see: fuel injected, carburetor. Let's turn the fuel on. All right. I know it's going to have a little hard start because I ran them out of gas. So the fuel injected is going to start faster because it has a fuel pump. This one has to be primed. So let's give it a second. All right, guys, they're both running, both pulling a thousand watts. We can verify it right here. This Honda putting out a thousand watts. The power horse is putting out right at 954. They're both in eco mode. They both have 32 ounces of gas in them. Let's see which one runs out first. As you know, the fuel injected is going to manage its fuel a little better. It has a pump. This one depends on gravity with the carburetor. So 
Let's see. It is exactly 4.30 right now. Let's see how long that runs. 10 minutes. We're right at 10 minutes. Both of them running strong. Still pulling a thousand watts. It's right around 95 degrees and they're in the full sun. So it's putting out some heat. They're doing good. Leave a comment which one you think is going to win. Honda or the Power Horse. So are you going for fuel injected or carbureted? Just put Honda or Power Horse. You don't have to leave a long description. It takes you two seconds to just leave your vote. Let's see how many people vote for the Honda. And let's see how many people vote for the Power Horse. 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes and they're still running, pulling a thousand watts each. Oh, right at 30 minutes, power horse just shut off. So now um, I'm going to start a stopwatch. So right at 30 minutes, this one runs out of gas and shuts off. Oh, the Honda is still running. Fuel injected. It's going to be a little bit better have a, bit, a little better fuel efficiency. Power horse runs out. The power horse ran out right at 30 minutes, pulling a thousand watts with 32 ounces of gas in it. Let's just take a look inside the tank. Let's pull the filter out. All right, it's bone dry in there. Okay. Okay, so if you said the Honda and you did not wait till to, you find out the Honda was going to go longer, then you you're right. Two minutes, 55, 57 seconds. Honda's still running. Guys, just for the hell of it, let's try to start the power horse. Turn it on. Just to make sure it doesn't have a little more gas in there. Okay. All right, it's completely out of gas. And I made sure that they got the exact same amount. 32 ounces. Four minutes, 55 minutes, still running. Wow. Nine minutes and the Honda is still running. 32 ounces of gas. This one ran out right at 30 minutes. Almost 40 minutes. And the Honda is still going. We're coming up on 10 minutes past 
the power horse. There you go, 10 minutes, still running. All right, guys, I couldn't get the camera, get it running out, but it finally stopped. And we got 12 minutes, 29 seconds more than the Power Horse 7500. All right, 12 minutes, 29 seconds more. That's awesome. So this one being fuel injected outran the carbureted. Okay guys, so the Honda the Honda one, even though it has a smaller tank, it has better fuel efficiency. It has a 5.1 gallon tank. With that 5.1 gallon tank, it can get 16 hours. This one has 6.6 .6 gallon tank and it also gets 16 hours. So just with the 32 ounces of gas we put in there. Managed, the Honda still managed to uh, outrun the power horse. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching my channel, guys. Have a great day. Bye.